What is up you guys? It's Katya Books. Welcome back to my channel and welcome to this exciting review of vegan protein powders. Yes, this is so epic. I'm like always stoked to try new proteins and especially when new brands are coming out with crazy flavors because like I've mentioned in other ones before, if this is your first video by the way, hi, you should subscribe. But yeah, vegan proteins, you know, just started out with the normal chocolate and vanilla and some brands out there still only have chocolate and vanilla so I'm always excited when other brands either come out with just vegan proteins and then want to improvise and come out with wild flavors or brands that have both whey and vegan want to make it an even playing field and come out with wild flavors so thank you to this lovely subscriber that did shout out this company to me so I was able to go online and get I had to get one tub of their protein and then the rest I was able to get sample sizes because they had so many flavors in their vegan protein powders and flavors that I haven't seen before. But yeah, I thought Live Body was the only one who had like the wild flavors, but not anymore because today we've got Steel. So I actually hadn't heard of this one before, so I'm super stoked. I got them all on Amazon. Otherwise, I'm sure you could probably find them on their website, but look at this hot cocoa i'm like oh my gosh so stoked to try it like i will say that the sun warrior chocolate protein powder tastes just like hot cocoa as well if you warm it up with some almond milk it's just one of my favorite things during christmas times to have that one but we're gonna see if this one tastes like hot chocolate as well because i feel like plain chocolate protein powders just taste like chocolate versus hot chocolate and they don't all taste the same when you warm them up to make a protein hot chocolate. So yeah, so we've got that flavor, but hold on, we've got more. We've got a vanilla cream pie. So I wonder if that's any different from like normal, van normal vanilla. We've got strawberry cheesecake, which sounds amazing. Milk chocolate, snickerdoodle. I've seen snickerdoodle before, but I always excited to try a new one and two very exciting flavors. We've got peanut butter, and I do love the color, how it's just like Jiffy peanut butter. Pretty, pretty on point. And, ooh, peanut butter and jelly. I don't know when to anticipate for this. Like, that sounds weird, because you wouldn't think of like maybe mixing peanut butter with jelly, I mean, other than just in a sandwich. So, <laughs> I'm so excited to try all of these. I think I'm gonna save though the hot cocoa for last since it is in the tub and I wanna go through the samples. I'm not gonna go through them all in one sitting so I'm gonna split this video up in just like a few days or in a few sessions just so I don't overwhelm my stomach with too much protein powder. So we're definitely gonna try one of them but let me just take a look at the macros real quick. Okay, so just confirmed real quick, they all have the same macronutrients and for like the one serving about 30 grams is 110 calories, one fat, two carbs, and 20 protein. And then it shows you your breakdown of your amino profile. I didn't mention it before, but someone did point it out with my Vivo Life, how I mentioned that they didn't show their amino profile is why I find it pertinent to put that on, you know, a vegan protein powder is because you can claim there to be a full amino profile, but it can have like one gram of glutamine, you know, and really not make an impact on your body. So the fact that they put all the milligrams and the grams of all the essentials and non-essential amino acids, I prefer because then it helps you make sure that you're getting all the aminos you need because sure there's some that are non-essential meaning your body produces it, but obviously if you're exerting yourself in exercise and daily activity, you do need to replenish those as well. So that is why I like to see that on protein powders. But anyways, moving on. So I think I'm gonna start with the classics. We're gonna do vanilla cream pie. So I'm gonna go get a mixer cup or something with some water and we're gonna mix it up. All right, so I got the vanilla cream pie and that mixed seamlessly and smelled really good when I opened up the packet. So, mm, smells nice. Let's see how it tastes. Wow, okay. Off the bat, 
rich vanilla flavor. Mmm. There's a slight texture to the protein powder in just water. Not gritty, but you can, I don't know how to describe it, but there is just a very faint texture. It's not bothersome. I don't think it would bother anyone at all, but just shouting it out there that that's what's up. There's a nice almost thickness to it. I don't know if it's just due to the fact that I did only like so much water. I don't know if it was exactly like eight ounces of water like they usually recommend, but regardless, it's a very rich vanilla. I'm loving this, oh my gosh. Very good. I mean, it's not fakey, but I can still kind of taste the pea protein in it. Cause I'm guessing this is a pea protein base. Okay, so yeah, brown rice protein and pea protein. So with this, it's a very simple, you know, post-workout protein. There's not like anything fancy. I mean, it's just got your brown rice, pea protein, maltodextrin, beetroot extract, and then sucralose, it's sweetened by. So you're not gonna get like a veggies blend or anything like that. So, I mean, you can have this any time of the day. That's what's good about it. And that's what I enjoy about like simple proteins like this. Mm. But a really solid vanilla. I'd give this like a an 8 out of 10. Yeah, I'm gonna give it like an 8 out of 10. The only thing is, yeah, the aftertaste, you kind of get that pea protein in it. But like the upfront vanilla is delicious. I think this would taste really good if you wanna do like the, the protein ice cream recipe that I love making. Um, I mean, but otherwise in a shake with just water, it's phenomenal. So I'm gonna finish this up, but then I'll catch you guys for whenever I do the next flavor. All right, next flavor to try is the milk chocolate. Okay, so interestingly enough, like when I opened up the packet, like it smelled kind of like hot chocolate. So I don't know what to anticipate for the hot chocolate flavor, but then again, that was just the smell, not the taste. So really nice and dark and chocolatey color. Holy cannoli. It reminds me of Ovaltine, just like the smell and the look of it. So I'm excited for this. Wow. That reminds me so much of Ovaltine. Oh my gosh. That is like, I love that flavor of chocolate. Oh my goodness. Mmm. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Mmm. You guys need to give me a minute. This is like crazy good. Like, same texture like the vanilla. I am having kind of the same effect where I'm right at the end after like I drink it, you kind of taste the pea protein, but much better in that it really holds that chocolate flavor really rich like this is very enjoyable but like i think i could get almost overwhelmed by the chocolatiness so there's that to it if anyone could get it you know i don't know i might be just saying that or just spewing that but honestly this is like seriously probably one of the best chocolate flavors i've had i can solidly say that i will give this like a 9.5 out of 10. i don't know if i can quite give it a 10 out of 10 like i want to but i'm not sure oh my gosh but out of all of them i'll put them at like a number like number one out of all we haven't tried the other flavors of course yet but right now this may be my favorite so we'll see how the other flavors come along all right guys, so we're on to strawberry cheesecake. Pretty excited to try this. And let me tell you, when I opened up that packet to mix it in the water, it smelled so nice and sweet. So pretty excited about this one. Oh yeah, that smells good. Wow, wow, mm. I mean, it's hard to say that it tastes exactly like strawberry cheesecake, but I taste strawberry. It is more so that false strawberry, so it's quite sweet, but I personally like that. If you don't want a more fakey strawberry taste, then you might not like it, but I think it tastes really good. And again, alone with water, it tastes amazing. This one, not as much that I get that pea protein aftertaste, which is really nice and enjoyable. And again, a nice rich consistency like the other two proteins so i enjoy that as well really good i'll give this one 8.5 out of 10 yeah okay mm. 
All right, guys, so next we are trying the snickerdoodle. I got it right here, and oddly enough, it's just as pink as the strawberry cheesecake, which was pretty delish. So I'm excited to try this because this smelled very good as well, mixed just perfectly. So let's give this one a taste test. Mmm. Oh, yeah, that smells nice. But it's so odd that it's kind of pink. Like, did they actually put the strawberry cheesecake in here? We'll find out. <laughs> mm. Off the bat, like, you just get that nice, sweet cinnamon flavor. Like, you would have called this, like, cinnamon roll, and it would have passed as that as well. But, like, mm. it's not, hmm, I don't know how to describe it. It's almost a little more buttery than, like, I would anticipate this, like, the snickerdoodle. Like, I know I can't expect a protein powder to taste exactly like a cookie or exactly like what it says it to be because it's not gonna be 100% that. This isn't like a snickerdoodle ground up with you know all the sugar and flour that goes into a snickerdoodle. But for what it is as a protein powder, boy, this, this tastes really good. Mm, mm -hmm. Probably like best like snickerdoodle taste. Different from the Live Body Cinnamon Cookie Crumble. I don't know how to describe the difference because it's been now a minute since I've had that flavor in my arsenal and usually that flavor I love as like for a protein oatmeal. The only thing about this one that I can think of a difference is it's a little bit sweeter. Like I think it would be for me a little overwhelming to have this on the daily basis in my oatmeal. Like I think it would just be a little too much and I'm a person who likes sweet but it's a tad over sweet. So for that reason, I will give it like an 8.5 out of 10. Like it's really solid when it comes to being like a snickerdoodle, but it should be almost like sugar cookie or something because it's quite sweet, but it's really good. Like if you like really sweet, go for this one. If you don't, I mean, then again, I found these sample sizes on Amazon so you can always buy them for yourself. I'll link them down below as well for you guys so you can give them a try. They're really inexpensive and it lets you give it a try without, you know, committing to a full tub of protein powder. That's what I love about uh, sample sizes. But yeah, I mean, you might try it and you'll be like, wow, it is really sweet, it is really good. But then the more you sip it, you're like, it's almost too sweet. Like I get kind of tired of it, which I mean, at least it'll like help the craving if you have a strong sweet tooth. That's the one thing about it. So yeah, I'll catch you guys for the next flavor though. All right guys, so now we're gonna be trying the peanut butter, which pff, my excitement level has just gone all the way up to try this because it's been difficult to find a good peanut butter flavored protein powder. The only one that I've had that's good is the Orgain, but the only thing that I don't care too much about the Orgain is higher in carbs. So if I am cutting down, it's not a good one to turn to, but it is very filling and it is delicious. Other than that, the only two other brands that I know that have a peanut butter flavor are PE Science uh, which sucks <laughs> and uh, Redcon one which I remember their peanut butter one wasn't very good So this one smelled very good. I mean the Redcon one. I did like their other flavors So you guys can go check out that review if you'd like but oh, That smells good you guys. Oh my gosh Yep, yeah, okay, they nailed it on this one it tastes as though I'm drinking like the powdered peanut butter, like the PB2 or the PB Fit. It has just that same flavor where you're like, it's not exactly like creamy, fatty peanut butter, but you're getting that richness and flavor from it. So, wow, they nailed it. Oh my gosh. Mm. Wow, nope, yep, yep. Oh, this one is perfect. Mm. Mm -hmm. Like I would definitely buy a tub of this. Tiny, tiny bit of texture, kind of like the other ones. Slight, slight, slight aftertaste of pea protein, but it's really not, nothing crazy. And not overly sweet like the other flavors have been, because I noticed with the other ones, like the first sip would be a burst of flavor and you'd be like, wow, this is delicious, but then you keep on drinking and you're like, this is actually kind of sweet, like it's almost too sweet. So this one's a, be a much better balance, I would say the sweetness. That's why none of the other ones have had it like, a 10 out of 10, whereas this one I would give like 9.5 out of 10. 
still a tad sweet, but I feel like more people would like this if you are a peanut butter person. This flavor is just phenomenal. So might be first place on my list. I don't know. We still have two more flavors left. So stay tuned for that, but I'm giving this guy a 9.5 out of 10. Sorry about the background sound. There's some power washing going on with this new concrete that was laid down in the house, but it's peanut butter jelly time. So I'm so excited to try this one, of course. So here we are. Let's see. I didn't take a whiff of it actually, so. I do smell like a slight fruitiness, like a grape jelly vibe I'm getting from it. So let's see. Whoa. I like this, you guys. I really like this. I would say there's a more forefront flavor of like the grape jelly than there is the peanut butter, but I am getting the peanut butter flavor. This is definitely the first of its kind. Usually companies will either have like a peanut butter or a chocolate peanut butter, but never have I seen peanut butter and jelly. Not even a whey protein. Unless there is one out there that I don't know of and you guys know of, like let me know in the comment section below. But otherwise, holy crap. Mmm. That's crazy good. It's amazing. They really accomplished the ability to combine the two flavors, but you in a way taste them separately. Like you could taste the peanut butter and the jelly. So it's just like enjoying a sandwich. This is so good. Oh my gosh. Mmm. Wow. Oh my gosh. Yes. I will. I, I possibly would buy this again. Now for my chocolate peanut butter lovers out there. Live Body. That one is by far the best one I've had thus far. But if you want something even crazier like peanut butter jelly, I found this guy on Amazon. So again, like I mentioned, it'll be in like the description box below if you guys want to go buy this from Amazon or their website as well. Um, that's just where I found also the sample sizes if you want to give them a try too. Mm. Mm. Phenomenal. Oh my gosh. Wow. Again, 9.5 out of 10. That's pretty freaking good. All right, so we have one more flavor after this one and then we've tried them all. So I'll catch you guys for that one. All right, guys, we're on the final flavor of the steel protein powders, vegan protein powders, but we've got the hot chocolates. So we've got it mixed up with the water and I'm hoping it tastes a little different from the milk chocolate because I do remember that the milk chocolate almost tasted like a hot chocolate flavor. So mixed perfectly, just as dark as I remember the other one being as well. So it'd be kind of funny if it tastes exactly the same. Oh my gosh. They have mini marsh, okay, they have mini marshmallows in here. I didn't even notice that when I was scooping it. I am so, so happy about that. That just made my day. You guys, this company, I might have to reach out to them and like become affiliated with them because so I can get you guys a coupon code. <laughs> this is so crazy cool. It smells good, nice and chocolatey. Mmm, mmm, okay. Tastes different from the milk chocolate. The milk chocolate also still reminded me of the hot chocolate, but this does as well in a different way. I don't know how to quite describe it. I mean, I think the milk chocolate tasted more like if you were to make a hot chocolate with some melted chocolate in it, whereas this tastes like that powdered, those chocolate packets. I'll, sh I'll show a picture because I can't think of the name, like the Swiss something brand. Oh my gosh, like the childhood favorite that you would mix with your whole fat milk back in the day. Oh my gosh, with water alone, I am beyond like impressed at their flavors and how well they have helped through. Mm. I wanna try getting the marshmallows. Mm. I mean, I wasn't anticipating them being soft, but weird texture. I'm gonna finish this and then we're gonna wrap it up because we just finished all the flavors. All right, so we finished them all. And I forgot to say, I think I would rate this like an 8.5, 8.75 out of 10. Absolutely solid, really, really good. But I think I would go more so for the milk chocolate. So I don't know, because <laughs> now I can't remember what score I gave them. I wrote them down here, but just to recap, so we had vanilla cream pie, which I gave an eight out of 10. 
the milk chocolate, okay, I gave that, yeah, a nine out of 10. Strawberry cream, 8.5 out of 10. Um, the Snickerdoodle, 8.5 out of 10. Peanut butter, 9.5 out of 10. And peanut butter and jelly, 9.5 out of 10. So I'd say, if you wanted to pick one, I honestly think you could go with anyone, any of them, and you will be very, like, satisfied with it. Um, the only one that was a little too sweet for me was just the strawberry cheesecake. It had a very nice strawberry cheesecake flavor. It was just like after the first sip, it was a little too sweet. I think I would though like it in like morning oats or something. So, but yeah, I mean, hopefully maybe by the time this video goes up, I can see if I can reach out to them and get a coupon code for you guys. If I do, I will have it up on the screen somewhere for you to use. But otherwise I did get them on Amazon. So again, I'll link that below, but I'm crossing my fingers because even I would like a better deal. <laughs> I mean, I think this tub was like maybe almost 40 bucks. I can't remember. And it's only got 25 servings. So it costs a little more and you don't get your fruits and veg blend. But I mean, for just being a simple protein, I think that's how they were able to compensate and give it a much better flavor. They are phenomenal. If you want like a solid protein with a fruits and veg blend, go with the Live Body because they're wild flavors. You guys know I love them and I love using their protein and recipes. But like for just a protein powder post-workout, just need to get those essential aminos into your system. Steel is the deal. Okay, that was way too cheesy and cringy. Don't judge me. But anyways, this brand is freaking phenomenal. So if you've enjoyed this, go give them a try. Give this video a thumbs up if you haven't already. And if you haven't, please subscribe and let me know what supplements you want me to try out next. I think I have a recipe for you guys next. Otherwise, yeah, um, let me know if I've missed a company that I haven't reviewed yet or a company has come out with a new flavor that I need to try. So yeah, I love you all and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.